Welcome to the results show for the first ever Journey to the Secret Word on the Morella Discovery. So stay tuned to see who wins. So in our recent vlog series, we started something new called Journey to the Secret Word. Yeah, so what we did was we ran around crazy hiding letters on different days of our cruise. I got quite a few looks as I was putting <laughs> little letters in different places, but we filmed that. We jumbled it all up to try to make a fun little scavenger hunt game for all of you to take part in. So the way it worked is every vlog that we are every day that we're on the ship, we vlogged each day and each day had a different letter. And all the letters, there were seven letters in total for a seven-day cruise. It all, when it was reorganized, came out with a single word. Right. And so we had lots of people that were watching and guessing. Right from the very beginning, we had people guessing what the word was, even before all seven days Yeah, done. some people, day, day two into it, were sending us emails with their guests. But yep. overall, we had over 50 people put in correct responses. Yes, and... Uh, Part of the competition was to not only guess the right word, but indicate where on the ship you found it. That way, we didn't have people just guessing that we know that everybody that watched had actually seen all the letters. And, yeah, we were impressed with how many people got it right. So Yeah, so thanks, guys, for yeah, playing. Thanks for watching. We heard from some people that said they watched some of the videos a couple times through looking for the letter. Yeah. So, And even one person, uh, I believe it was Linda, she found an extra letter that we didn't even realize we recorded. So we're going to show you that today. So uh, the plan today is we're going to go through each letter and kind of show you where we hit it. And we're going to give you a little bit of background as to thinking about it. But mm -hmm. you wouldn't believe how uh, <laughs> how difficult it is when you're on a boot cruise ship, having a good time, doing all the different things to remember to hide a letter. Right. <laughs> that was our or biggest for me challenge. to remember to put it in my clutch bag at <laughs> night or my backpack during the day when we're getting off the ship. We did have a few times where we had to run back to the room to get the letter. <laughs> <laughs> Once even we had to like, we were just about ready to go to bed and we had to get dressed again and go back out in the ship and hide it somewhere because we had <laughs> forgot that day. Yeah, we were about to do our wrap up video and we realized we hadn't hidden it yet. Yeah, so, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that and then after we're done all that, we are going to spin the wheel with everybody's name on there that had the correct entry. Mm -hmm. And we're going to find out who the winner is. We can't wait to announce the winner. And uh, and then announce our, our next series coming up after this for the next round of Secret Word that's coming for our next vlog. So, so let's get down to going through each letter on each day and give you a little bit of backstory as to how it played out. Right. So on the first day, the hidden letter that you found was R. A letter <laughs> R. And it was... Uh, in our cabin at the end of the day and we realized yeah. very quickly that night after we looked at the footage that it was too far away so we sort of gave that one to you guys because that that was a learning curve for us and we figured out ooh, we need to um make them a little bit closer because the camera's not as great as we thought it was yeah so we learned from day one uh, a very valuable lesson and so after that we we made them a little clearer at least we hope so yeah a, a cabin on a cruise ship in the evening even with some lights on could be a dark thing in the corners and we had a hid way behind us against the wall and it was too dark quicker we realized that this isn't showing up and so we just gave it away said here here it is first letter is r so mm -hmm. that was kind of a free letter so right so that's the only free letter though in the next cruise series you're not going to get a freebie so right <laughs> this was a starting off with a free so it was r and I'm not sure we had anybody guess Morella yet, right at the R. No. But, uh, yeah. But we did on day two. Day yeah. two, we hid the letter E in the hot tub at the glass house we were on. Um, that was our Fort Lauderdale day, but we decided to put it in, uh, stay on the ship and keep it as a ship day. Yeah, so we, and it wasn't actually in the hot tub. It was no. sitting between us on the edge of the hot tub. Right so, so our little blocks that we've taken along, they're made of wood. Yes. And we quickly became fearful that if we start putting these in water, or in drinks or whatever we had different ideas for that they might absorb the water and swell up and not be, be destroyed yeah so so we had to come up with a strategy for how we're going to deal with that so so on day two they sat outside the hot tub instead of inside the hot tub even though we thought about putting it underwater we didn't at that time right but that was day two so people that guessed e hot tub you had it so now we had an r and an e 
-hmm. And you think we had people guessing Morella at that we point? We did. Yeah. I received one. We received one email at that point after that video aired saying Morella, and I'm like, wow, these people are onto us fast. <laughs> we maybe we did this too, made it too easy for everyone. Yeah, we started to think that maybe we need to have words that have like X and Q and Z. In them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so on day three, we went to Bimini. Mm -hmm. And we were thinking about this whole idea of putting something underwater. So we thought about it the day before. Mm -hmm. So we thought, let's take a little baggie and we'll see if we can put the next letter underwater. So the next letter ended up being an L. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, it actually wasn't underwater. No. It was sitting on front of me as I floated on top of the water. Right. We actually filmed that three different times. So we'll show you all three here. So the first of all was the one that you actually saw in the vlog, which was me floating uh -huh. with the L on me. You're showing all of them? I'm showing all of them. Oh, no. That's then, too much close-up footage of me in a bathing suit. The next couple will be ones that you didn't see in the vlog. This is unseen footage. So yeah. you're going to see one that's sitting on Mrs. Canuck's shoulder as she turns and she's in the water. It's sitting on her shoulder. Uh -huh. And the last one we experimented with underwater. We took the baggie. We'll put the letter in the bag. We put it underwater. And then we found out that underwater, everything's distorted, and even inside of a bag, a clear bag, it was distorted. So we reviewed the footage afterwards and thought, you know what, we don't want anybody to not know that it was an L. Mm -hmm. But you can see here from the footage that, uh, yeah, that we did have one under the water as well. So you've got, you, we give you the easiest one. Right. Maybe we shouldn't have, with so many people getting it right, we should have made that oh. tougher. <laughs> so that was the L. So at this point, you had an R, E, and an L. And then day four, we went and filmed it at what? turned out to be our favorite event of the cruise, which was the musical tea service that Morella uh, offers. So that was on day four. And I had taken the letter, the letter A, and snuck it into the three tiers of the, all the food and the goodies that were there. Mr. Canuck was busy eating away and he didn't even realize I had hidden it there. Nope. So that was kind of funny because I even hid it from him that time, but it had been there the whole time. And halfway through our snacking, he went, wait a minute. Where's the letter? And I just sort of point it to it. And he's like, oh, I already filmed it. And I didn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting because when you come back from doing the cruises and we're doing the editing, it's usually days and weeks afterwards. And I, I couldn't even find it in the edit. I'm like, where was this letter? I forgot all about where it was. And I, I had actually cut it out of the final edit at one point. Had to go and put it back in because I didn't show that part of the food on the tea. Yeah. So, yep. So... So that was a fun one for sure, and uh, a few of you commented that they thought that was rather clever the way it was kind of hidden in there. So, and that was a very fun event. The musical tea time, one of our favorite things ever we've done on a cruise ship. Definitely. So, yes, yes. So then that you how it, a lot of people at this point had an A, an L, an E, and R. A lot of Morella was coming out. I I don't know if there was anybody that had anything wrong. Right. But again, the whole point of it was we wanted to know the locations, and so you had to watch all seven videos to really put in a, a correct guess in. So at that right. point, we started to make it a little tougher. We knew people would be hunting for it, so the next one was an A again. So mm -hmm. so first of all, it was tougher because people might have thought, hey, we just had A yesterday. I thought maybe it was a mistake or something. Second of all, it was a very brief glimpse across the tiny dining room table, right? and there was an A in between our plates. Right. Yes, and we actually had someone comment that they... They, they thought it was an A. They had got all of them, but they hadn't had the final A from Morella, and they had to go back through that video and try to find it because it was a little tricky. So so that was the one on the dining room, in the main dining room. We were eating downstairs on the first level, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that was A. So at this point, almost everybody was getting Morella. They, yeah. they had figured us out at that point, all right. but they were still waiting for two more letters. So day six, we hid the letter L, and we hid it in the live room, L for live room which was also with our favorite bartender, Leslie. So there was our idea between with the letter L for day six was live room and Leslie. So we hit it there while we were having pre-dinner drinks. Yeah, that and, and at that point, we were getting a little more clever. We were finally getting used to how this works because, <laughs> because the L was representative of our bartender, of the room that we were in, and trying to build up the series of hints that kind of lays the groundwork for future episodes of doing this. So, mm -hmm. And again, we had a couple of people comment about that, saying that they were kind of looking expecting it in like a, a glass full of you know Canadian whiskey, for example. Mm -hmm. But again, our fear was, is this going to destroy these letters? <laughs> we weren't sure. So right. we, we left it beside the drink instead of inside the drink. Right. And number seven was in the glass house again, squeezed in between Mr. Canuck and I in the cabana. We had it, the letter M there. The letter M for the main place that we spent the majority of our time yes. on, on that cruise. Yeah, and uh, it was it was kind of obvious if you were paying attention. I don't think that one was hidden very well. We kind of knew that at that point, people were just pretty well waiting to see an M anyways because people had figured out what it was. So it's kind of like, here it is. If you've got this far, then you this can confirm that your guess is Thanks right. for watching all seven at that point. Yeah, right. so, so that was where the M was. 
But then we came home, we did all the editing, we've had all the responses come in, and we gave everybody 10 days to get all their correct uh, guesses or submissions in. Mm -hmm. And then an interesting one came in for me, and someone said, I found an eighth letter. And an eighth letter, <laughs> and, all, and all they told me is they found it backwards E is what I thought it was. Maybe it was a backwards A or something, a backwards letter. And it was, it was in one of the cabinets. And I, t I turned to Mrs. Kanaka and said, did you have the letters stored in a cabinet when we were filming one time that people might have seen? And sure enough, that's where she said they were. Yeah, I was literally just storing the little bag of them next to the safe in our cabinet. And sometimes they were just randomly there if I just pulled them out of my purse at the end of the night. And so obviously Mr. Canuck was filming at some point and the letter E had been sitting out from using it the day before. So yep. someone had found it. Yeah, I looked at the video closely and I couldn't tell if it was an E or an A, but it definitely oh. was the wrong direction. It was upside oh, down okay. or sideways or something. But uh, yeah, we'll show you that footage here and you can take a look for yourself. But that was really good. Of uh, I think That's it was so Lynn. Good Lynn, hunting. Yeah, Linda found a letter that we didn't even intend to hide. <laughs> so that, that made us think that, oh, well, we better make sure that we're not just having these letters not laying out somewhere because people might see a whole mess of them on a table one day and think they've got them. I need to make sure I tidy up my <laughs> drawers and make sure the cupboards are closed before he turns on the, cap, uh, the camera. Uh, here. Maybe from this day forward, one of the things that needs to go in the safe and get locked up is the letters. <laughs> <laughs> yep so so that was good for linda to find an eighth letter that we did not intend so <laughs> wow so that was where all the letters were so we've taken all the entries and we put them into a fancy little program that spins them around in a wheel mm -hmm. and so now we are going to do the spin everybody's name is there that was uh that had the correct uh guess of morella we've put everybody's first name with their last initial just for privacy yeah We're not some people we didn't have last initial every, every, oh yeah some people had only sent the email with the first initial yeah. so but there's nobody's last names yep. so so we're going to spin that wheel now take a look and we're going to see who wins good luck everyone here we go round and round and the winner is hmm. steven O. steven O. Congratulations, Stephen. Wow. You are our first ever winner. Our first ever winner. Yeah. Are you going to tell him what he won? Yeah, we we, <laughs> we we actually have never... We we said there would be prizes, and we've, we've really spent the last month or two trying to figure what that... Debating what, back and forth. So yeah, what somebody won is a prize from yeah, the Cruising we, we, Canucks. Yeah, we did know, yeah. So, so we came up with a couple ideas, and we're going to reach out to you, Stephen. We have your email since uh, you uh, submitted the correct entry, and we will... Uh, contact you about what it is but i think we've got an idea we're gonna we're gonna give out mm -hmm. so the first thing is we had a few people asking for this so one of the, the first prize is going to be a cruising connects cap so not this one that i've worn all these cruises but we'll get you a new one a new one will be sent to you <laughs> and one of my favorite things to pack on all of our cruises which is my blow up floaty for in the ocean yes yeah, so we're going to get a floaty as well sent to you as well as a hat mm -hmm. and the other thing is also something to do with something new that we're starting up and we're just in the middle of setting up a, a patreon youtube membership site so that people can support the channel and also have some additional uh, extras and perks that go with the cruising connects world mm -hmm. and so we're going to give uh, steven a one-year membership to that mm -hmm. so he'll be part of that as well that's so. right so yeah, so Stephen, uh, we will be in touch, and congratulations for congratulations. being the first ever. Congratulations, the first ever. ever. Yes, yeah, so and we we're excited to have so many people that entered, and so many people got, got it right. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how well the next one goes, but uh, how tough it's going to be. Mm -hmm. Well, if it's a little tougher, so. Mm -hmm. But we had such good feedback for everybody, and we had a great time doing this, and we thought we wanted to give something to everybody. Mm -hmm. And so in line with the old membership and Patreon, there we're starting a new Discord server, which is a way for everybody to communicate real time with us, whether we're on a cruise or whether we're home and kind of have that more of a community back and forth. Right. And so everybody that had a correct entry is going to get a full month of August, uh, free access to the discord server. So you can get, be part of that community and talk back and forth with us. And, uh, we'll be on there answering questions and doing all the different things that we do and building up to our next cruise. So, yes. so everybody's going to get a little bit of something for putting in an entry. Yeah, so thank you all for participating and playing along. I hope you had fun. We had fun doing it. Yep. We've heard a lot of people said they did have fun and wanted to make sure we're going to continue it. So yes, we will and we did continue it. Um, our next vlog series from the beautiful Colling Conning's Dam will be having featuring the secret word game also. Exactly. We've already filmed that. We've always, Hopefully all the letters are visible. We haven't reviewed all the footage yet. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've got a brand new word for you to find in that series. So yeah, definitely watch that. 
and we'll be doing it again on our next uh, video after that. So our next vlog series on the MSC. So, yes. and we're, we've had such good response that we're we're coming up with new ideas for new ideas for prizes. And so thank you everybody, and uh, good luck in looking for the secret word on the conning stem. That's right. Seven letters again. And again, it's always got something to do with the theme of the cruise. That's the last hint you're getting. Mm -hmm. and you have to find them all this time. We're not going to show you any of them in the videos. All right. Okay. Take care, everybody. And thank you again. Bye.